of booktube it's janet and i'm just going to do, do a quick catch up of the books that i read while i've not been on booktube the first one i've got to tell you about is murder at the vicarage by agatha christie and this is the first miss marple story i was a bit disappointed that miss marple wasn't actually in it very much so i enjoyed it but it was only okay i've actually finished the harry potter series now so i read harry potter and the half blood prince and harry potter and the deathly hallows both again five star reads listen to them on audiobook on my commute to work read by Stephen Fry absolutely adore them the woman is a genius I then went on to uh, listen on audiobook Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and that's read by Eddie Redmayne and also Quidditch Through the Ages again both absolutely brilliant reads loved them as well and Quidditch Through the Ages is actually read by Andrew Lincoln another book I read is State of Sorrow and this is one of the fairy loot books I received earlier in the year by Melinda Salisbury it was okay it follows I think it was, she's a princess really, who lives in the castle, but basically her brother, who was older than her, died in some fancy celebration that they have with their neighbours across the border. And her father's been in mourning ever since, her mother's now dead, and her father sleeps a mole oppressed in mourning, it's really like a miserable place to be. But things start to unravel, things start to change. Um, it was okay. I, I think I'd definitely read the next ones in the series, but I wouldn't be any hurry to, to get it. I completed the duology by Cecilia Ahern. But I read Flawed earlier in the year and then I read Perfect, which is a follow-up to that. Absolutely love this series. I think it's not, I've not seen much of it around. Basically, to keep people well behaved in society, there are certain crimes or sins that are deemed to make you imperfect. And if you're deemed to be committing one of these, you get branded in one of several places in your body to represent the misdemeanor that, that you've supposedly uh, completed and then you live alongside society you do not have the same rights as everybody else and it follows a girl who is absolutely perfect for a period of time and then something happens where she becomes absolutely the most flawed citizen in this land where she's marked in a lot of places and perfect is the follow-up to flawed I absolutely recommend it to you if you don't want to do a lens the series it's just two books absolutely fast-paced absolutely fascinating um a lot of deep undercurrents of social commentary on there and a fabulous surprise wasn't expecting that from Cecilia Ahern but it was brilliant I also read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid I really enjoyed this it follows a faded movie star I'm sure you know the story because a lot of people have read this now who um finally tells her life story to this journalist that's been selected to take down her memoirs and the seven marriages that she's had and there's a fabulous twist at the end that I didn't see coming and I really enjoyed it. So that's just a quick update of some of the books that I was reading uh, while I was away from booktube. I'll see you all soon. Keep reading. Bye!